Hi everybody, Brian Friel, Deputy Clerk, Gross Hill Township. Quickly want to go over precinct delegates, which are unique to even year primary elections. Uh, each precinct will have a different amount of precinct delegates that are available. Some have people on the ballot, some don't. Um, precinct delegates are, are a resident who's running for a delegate to the county convention, but they, you can only run within the precinct that you live. So that's why every precinct has different names um, and different amounts, depending on how many people reside, how many registered voters you have in your precinct, decide how many delegates are available. So um, the one unique thing about them is we have write-in candidates um, that often run before the July 31st deadline. And the county did submit those to us yesterday. And we do have no Republicans running at all at this time, um, but we do have 11 Democrats running for precinct delegate, and there is someone in every precinct. So this affects our precincts. It also affects our AB counting board, because at the end of the night, you need to make sure um, when you flip open that little white door at the bottom of your tabulator, when you're taking your ballots out, the very bottom, you take out your, your ballots, and then there's that little door in the top left, you click it open, that's where you're going to find your write-in candidates. You're going to pull those out, separate pile. You're going to go through them to make sure who's an eligible candidate and who's not. And then you need to tally those up. So um, once the end of the night comes, you would have your write-in tally sheet here. And I, I did send you a video on tallying these where you're going to put the candidate's name um, the office they're running for, party they're running for, and then you will tally them with, um, you know, tally marks, one, two, three, four, and then you would slash with five, write in the total number of votes on the far right. It's very simple to do. Um, the one unique aspect of uh, precinct delegate write-ins is on election day, they can actually write in at the precinct. So there are forms and I will quickly, uh, let me turn this here and go over, I'll go over the form with you here. Um, let me go over where you would find the form here in the binder. Okay. If you go to the index, you will see number 11 voter registration and delegate forms. So if you go through tab number Sorry, tab number 11. All right, and I'm just gonna get two hands here to flip that open. All right, so um, then I see voter registration forms um, and then write in um, candidates, precinct delegates, little information sheet, sorry, little information sheet, and then underneath it is the actual form. So um, on election day, your precinct chair would act as the notary on this form. Um, person fills it out. You'll check. Um, you'll check their ID. And you'll um, they'll they'll sign date, and then you'll fill out the notary section and, and sign there. Um, once they have registered to be a write-in, they'll obviously go through and vote. Um, once you have one, make sure you contact us in the clerk's office because anyone that runs as a write-in the precinct may have told their friends that they were going to do it, and then those friends may have voted a um, absentee ballot already, which means we would need, we need to inform the absentee boards of every write-in candidate who declares in the precinct on election day so that everybody's getting the, the tallies right. We make sure everybody gets the votes they deserve. Okay, so I hope we all understand that. We need to, once somebody fills one of these out, contact the clerk's office, let us know. So we make sure we get that name over to the absentee counting boards so they know who they're looking for at the end of the night um, for their tally sheet, their write-in tally sheet. Okay? If you have any questions, call me, 734-676-4422, extension 241, brianf at grossseal.com. Thank you.